fans have called out one Jeopardy contestant for making an odd hand gesture while playing the game. On Wednesday night's episode, players Drew Basile and Tekla Sauter gave 15-day champ Adriana Harmeyer a run for her money. Unfortunately for Adriana, she lost her streak to Drew, who viewers might recognize from season 45 of Survivor. By the end of the double Jeopardy round, Drew was in the lead with $23,600, Telka in second with $10,600, and Adriana with $9,300. In the end, Drew was the new champion. However, fans noticed Drew continuously pointing to the clues on the huge blue board during the first portion of the game. After the first commercial break, the former TV personality stopped his hand gesture which convinced fans that producers told him to stop. Stop so abruptly. Viewers shared their thoughts on a Reddit forum dedicated to the long-running U.S. game show. One person said that they liked Drew, he seems like a goofball. I wonder if they asked him to stop pointing at the clues after the first break. Another replied, he stopped pointing so abruptly I think they stopped taping even before the first break to tell him to stop. That was bothering me so much for no good reason, a third admitted. That was annoying, someone else agreed. Jep's new champ. Within the last two years, not one player was able to last 15 games. Adriana had won a whopping $349,600 throughout her streak. Although she would make a return in the Tournament of Champions, Adriana seemed disappointed at her loss. As the camera panned to the three contestants, Drew shook Telka's hand and turned to Adriana to shake hers. However, she took a brief second to reach her hand out. During the segment where the contestants shared a fun fact about themselves, Drew discussed his time on Survivor. I lasted 23 days of 26 with no shelter or food, which affected the noggin a little bit, but I'm hoping to be back on course for Jeopardy. Host Ken Jennings was curious to know how being on Survivor compared to competing on Jeopardy. Survivor is hard on the body, but Jeopardy is hard on the mind, so I'll tell you after, he joked. Sure. Here's a creative 1,000-word story about Jeopardy. Fans spotting an irritating move from Survivor's Drew Basile they think producers stopped as he beat a 15-day champ. In a riveting crossover of television realms, Jeopardy! Fans found themselves entangled in a swirling storm of excitement and frustration. The cause of this tempest? Drew Basile, a savvy contestant known for his cunning maneuvers on the latest season of Survivor. As Drew took his place at the iconic podium of Jeopardy!, his game strategy sent ripples through the normally placid waters of the beloved quiz show. Drew Basile, with his tousled hair and an air of unshakable confidence, was no stranger to the intensity of competitive environments. Having weathered the physical and psychological storms of Survivor, he brought a unique edge to Jeopardy, a cerebral battleground where the sharpness of one's mind was the ultimate weapon. But it wasn't just his knowledge that had viewers buzzing. It was his strategic gameplay that ruffled feathers. From the moment Alex Trebek's successor introduced the contestants, there was a palpable electricity in the air. Drew's opponents, including the reigning 15-day champion, Samantha Lewis, exchanged nervous glances. Samantha, a poised and meticulous player, had established herself as a formidable force, her streak earning her the admiration of fans across the nation. But Drew was undeterred, his eyes gleaming with the thrill of the challenge. The game began with the usual cadence of questions and answers, but it soon became apparent that Drew was employing an unconventional approach. Rather than adhering to the traditional method of selecting clues in a linear fashion, he adopted the forest bounce technique, hopping across the board with a calculated randomness that left his opponent scrambling to keep up. This strategy, designed to throw others off their game, was a familiar tactic to Survivor fans but felt jarring in the structured world of Jeopardy. As the game progressed, Drew's movements grew more erratic. He would pounce on daily doubles with the ferocity of a predator, wagering large sums with an almost reckless abandon. His confidence seemed boundless, his every move calculated to maximize his lead and destabilize his competitors. While some viewers admired his audacity, Others found his approach irritating, a disruption to the game's decorum. The Jeopardy! fan community, a passionate and vocal group, took to social media to voice their discontent.
Drew Basile is turning Jeopardy! into a survivor challenge, tweeted one frustrated viewer. Another lamented, where's the respect for the game? This isn't the island, Drew. But amidst the clamor, a subset of fans defended Drew's strategy, arguing that his unorthodox methods were a legitimate part of gameplay. He's playing to win, a supporter posted. Isn't that what Jeopardy! is all about? The debate raged on, each side fervently advocating for their perspective. Behind the scenes, Jeopardy! Producers monitored the situation with a mix of intrigue and concern. They had anticipated that Drew's presence would generate buzz, but the extent of the controversy was unexpected. It was clear that his tactics were polarizing the audience, and the show's integrity was paramount. Quietly, they began to consider how to address the situation without compromising the essence of the game. As Drew's lead over Samantha grew, the tension in the studio became palpable. Samantha, though visibly frustrated, maintained her composure, her responses crisp and precise. Yet, it was evident that Drew's strategy had thrown her off balance. The final round approached, and Drew held a significant advantage. The climactic moment arrived with the final Jeopardy question, and as the contestants scribbled their responses, the studio fell into a hushed silence. When the answers were revealed, Drew emerged victorious, his bold wager catapulting him to an impressive win. The studio erupted in applause, but the reaction online was more divided. While some lauded his performance, others decried it as a corruption of the game's spirit. In the days that followed, producers deliberated on how to preserve the integrity of Jeopardy! while acknowledging the competitive strategies that players brought to the table. They quietly implemented subtle changes, designed to mitigate the disruptive impact of tactics like the forest bounce. Categories were now arranged to encourage more linear play, and daily doubles were placed with greater care to ensure a balanced game. The next time Drew took the stage, astute fans noticed the adjustments. His movements across the board seemed less erratic, his leaps more constrained. The producer's influence was subtle but effective, gently steering the game back towards its traditional flow. Drew, ever the adaptable competitor, adjusted his strategy accordingly, continuing to play with skill and precision. Samantha Lewis, meanwhile, had accepted her defeat with grace. In an interview, she reflected on her experience, acknowledging the challenge that Drew had presented. It was a different kind of game, she said with a wry smile.